All right. So I'm just checking the balance of all my cells. I'm going through my entire battery bank. I'm almost done. I only got this one to do, this one, this one, this one, and this one. I've done all the rest. I've done all these. I've done all those. I've done all those. I need to do the Nissan Leaf Pack. They're all exactly the same within like, oh, I don't know, 0 0.01 of a volt or maybe 0 0.02 of the volt is usually my biggest. But I am very impressed with these cheap BMSs so far. Doing a fantastic job. They're super cheap, like 20 bucks it's for a 16S. I believe these are 30 amp BMS. Yeah, they are. They're 30 amp, amp uh, charge and discharge BMS. They're fantastic little things. And very, very happy with their balancing job so far. Thanks for watching. How's it going, guys? It's going off grid. I'm on the roof of my house where I have all my solar. Here, here, over there. I got these ones up here. I got those ones over there. I got the ones behind the boat over there by the pool. And these ones I've had up here for a while now. Uh, about a year, maybe even two years. I can't remember to be honest, but this is my second MC4 connector fail. These are all in series. The max it says it can put out is 10 amps. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that these are supposed to be rated for something like 30 amps. And they're not, man, that's, that's pretty bad. I don't know what one failed. Maybe uh, maybe it's actually this one that failed that came on the solar panel. I am not sure. I'm gonna be cutting this one off. And I got uh, some Bosch RV solar uh, brand MC4 connectors that I'm gonna be trying. Uh, they do seem like they're better quality. That's what I replaced in the last one that went on me. Uh, yeah, so one thing at least that my connections are down away from any lumber or anything so when they do go they're not gonna well most likely they won't start a fire uh this is on the garage side of my house so anyways we're gonna get replacing this this i can't believe it second one it must be i must have bought a, a some garbo brand back in the day i don't remember what i bought it from like it wasn't i didn't buy the cheapest one so that's uh Pretty crazy. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. How's it going guys? It's going off grid. I'm just doing a update on reliability. Uh, this is a 3000 watt reliable electric inverter. This is the first one I ever bought. And uh, actually no, this is not the first one I ever bought. That's a lie. Actually, the first one I ever bought is in my house trailer. This one I actually bought from a subscriber. I believe it was broken. I got two of them. One was broken, one was not broken, and I repaired the one. And it's working great. I run I run this little compressor off of it. I run as well at the same time as charging all these batteries. They're 100 watts a piece, approximately. I do not run that. That will blow the inverter up. I know that for sure. Uh, I charge my power it, which runs the diesel heater, which is running right now. And I'm currently running the microwave, charging all those batteries, running the lights. At this point, I would not turn that on because that would trip the inverter. But it's a pretty good little inverter. It's not going to run your house. It's not designed to run your house. Uh, multiple large loads will kill it pretty quickly. Let's see here. We are making 570 watts from solar. We're charging the Chevy Volt Generation 1 battery. It's a 12S. That's uh, 4 kilowatt hours approximately. And we are here building a house. <sighs> yeah, just showing you uh, what I do with my setup. I got 1,030 watts on the roof of this work trailer. And it works really well. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and see you later.